everybody and welcome back to another episode today on Roblox. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get probably the hardest badge I feel like in the game. It is called Rage Phantom Nightmare Mode. He's here, created through chaos and destruction, here to punish those who deserve it. He can absorb power and even wipe out timelines. This is an overnight one original. This is voted the most hardest badge so far. Oh my god. Thank goodness though. I'm going to be using a bit of my special powers I've been given. Okay. But I will try my hardest to show you exactly what to do. So go to roleplay. Be a human. I suggest being a human. Now. Before we even get started, you do need the Shadow World badge, the one that changes to this mode, okay? You do need that because you cannot go into this obby area without it. So if you do not have Shadow World, you cannot get the Night, uh, the, uh, what were they? Rage Phantom badges, the Nightmare one or the Normal Mode one. So right over this way, it might look like this without Shadow World. Once you do get to it, go ahead and click the nightmare mode or the shadow world mode and then head over here to the left. It might be a little dark because the game itself right now is nighttime, but here we go. This is probably going to be a very difficult obby and this is when I'm going to be using my special powers because this obby is very hard. Trust me, it is. It's going to make you not want to get this badge or play this game, maybe. So, do this obby. I'm going to do it normally as far as I can. And if I oof, I'm just going to go ahead and use my special powers as um, badge hunter. Okay? So, here we go. We're going to go up. Ooh. Um, I have heard, though, the creator is going to be... <gasps> and this is when I use my special badge hunting power. What you're going to do, though, is go onto these, go up here, and then onto these ladders. Now, like I was saying, I heard the creator of the game is going to be making this obby just a little bit easier. Not too easy, but it's still going to be pretty hard. Well, you're going to go onto this over here, and I probably could do all this, but I just don't have all day. I have other work to do. But we're going on these ladders like so. This part might be the most difficult part right here. You have to have your running on, and then jump. And hopefully land onto that ladder and then go from here down to there then across these guys and then on to here and then do not go up you want to go down to the left here walk down or jump down go across and then go keep going keep going going across all this over the french fries over the flat bread over these blocks and then this portal will take you to the ocean map all right so, once you've somehow gone through that obby, go into this portal, and it will teleport you to the ocean map. The ocean. See? All right. Now, the next part, this is not going to have an obby, but it is a bit of a journey. You have to collect four keys and then open up four doors to get the badge. Just found out you cannot reset. If you reset, you lose all your keys. So, don't reset when you're getting these keys. Yes, I know it's sort of not fair, but it's just to help speed up the video. But over here at this building, go to your left, and you're going to see this pink square. Go ahead and click it, and you will get the Lore Bender card. Now, from this house, I suggest then going over here to the back, going into the water, go straight ahead until you see a building. So, or go to this white line right here. There's like indicators. So go to this white line. And if you're looking at it right here, where's the spawn? Go to the right of it over this way. Then go to the right. Enter it through here. Go down this long spooky corridor. And there is going to be the second key. Click it. That is the savage phantom card. Then we're going to exit this spooky, scary underwater tunnel. Go back to the surface like so. Now, the next keys are going to be pretty far. There's one there and one over there. The one there is probably the most difficult one because you have to travel a lot. So, we're going to go to this one first, okay? The reason why we're going to this one is because the next key is next to the four um, doors. Or, to yeah, the four doors. So, head over to this red line. And once you're there, go ahead and go down. Just go all the way down 
this um this red line and then go pass it to the bottom of the ocean actually no go right here sorry <laughs> so once you get here go through this tunnel and then down to the bottom of the ocean like so now once you're here you go see the this spaceship go ahead and stick to the side of it like so and then keep going down alongside it keep going keep going until you see this red line you'll never see it because it doesn't break the surface it's actually underwater so go ahead down this way over here and then turn around and head underneath and right over here at this white line you're gonna see spring trap <laughs> he kind of looks bad but over there is the third key the ITP card all right now once you do that I believe uh, I don't know if you can reset I would not reset we have the exit so go back the same way to the red line and then follow the spaceship along the side of it just keep going keep going keep going until you get to this point where it starts going up a bit go all the way to the here and then back through the tunnel and then back up to the surface following this red line now from the red line go to the other red line <laughs> like i said this is a very hard long process so here we go go to this red line and it's, at least they have made it to where you can see where you need to go but it's not completely you know holding your hand now head down to the bottom and there's going to be another underwater cave entrance down this way it's a little deeper than the others and um the fourth key is also going to be down here where the four doors are so once you're here go ahead to the left and then go into this cave part right here go down a bit and you're gonna find a spot right there this is like a pinkish cave go into here then to your right and then immediately turn around go up and then the, the fourth key is gonna be right there click on that oh it gotta get a little closer oh there we go i got it the rage phantom card now we got all the four keys go back the same way we just were so head down this way back out this way but instead of going back to the surface go farther down this way <laughs> and go over this way ignore that turn go into the lava biome the lava area and then to this right corner there's going to be a tunnel go down this tunnel and then you're going to be in a lava lake area do not touch that okay you will oof now once you're here go forward and you're going to see this little lava island go to the right of it and there's going to be a tunnel right there follow that tunnel and then you're going to enter this room Woo! oh man all right now once you're here go ahead and get out your card so itp boop boop the lore bender boop boop and then we got the savage phantom boop boop and rage phantom boop boop and ladies and gentlemen there it is bump into the head and you've now gotten the hardest badge ever oh all right let's go ahead and check out the badge more role play badges and i believe is gonna be there it is rage phantom nightmare mode now i know there's a normal mode however i wanted to show you guys the hardest one first oh my goodness what is happening to this guy who paid in his cereal i deactivate cool deactivate two deactivate three perform okay okay jump scare Ooh, boy night mode all right let's see come on come on we got for us we got for us oh he floats i am fire off can i turn that off oh yes thank you i thought i was gonna have like a seizure so what's the difference with this guy and the normal mode is it just his eyes that are like you know freaking out ah thank you okay so it looks like the only difference is i have spikes on and there's like this metal thing inside of me that is what it seems like the difference is that's all i could see oh that must be whoa what is that what's going on with this person so yeah so here's the difference from normal mode and the nightmare mode 
So I have spikes. I've got this metal thing inside me, and my eyes are spazzing out. Okay. Very interesting. And the fire is going loco for Cocoa Puffs. Anyways, everyone, that is all for the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe down below and join the Bad Hunting Squad today. Also, I have a Roblox group, a Twitter, and a Discord. The links are in the description down below. I love you guys, and as always, stay awesome, stay cool, and good luck badge hunting. Bye-bye.